the Child Care and Protection Act, Section 21, Order to Submit to Medical Examination. Subsection 1, where a child is brought before the court as being in need of care and protection, and there is reason to believe that the child has been abused, the court may, of its own volition, or on the application of the child's parent or guardian, a constable, or authorized officer, or the children's advocate, make an order requiring that the child be medically examined for the purposes of determining what steps ought to be taken in relation to the health and medical treatment of the child. Subsection 2. A medical practitioner acting pursuant to an order made under subsection 1 may carry out or cause to be carried out such medical examination of the child as the medical practitioner thinks fit and shall as soon as practicable transmit a report thereon to the court. So, the, someone can make a request or that the child be medically examined by a doctor. All right, subsection three. <clears throat> no proceedings shall be brought before a medical practitioner for anything done in good faith in accordance with the provisions of this section. <clears throat> so you cannot sue the medical practitioner once they act in good faith. So I guess if the medical practitioner made a mistake causing somebody to be convicted but later on they found out that it was a mistake and there was no no or even if it doesn't cause conviction then no one can actually sue the medical practitioner all right so a medical practitioner is protected here by this section section 22 disease testing of convicted offender subsection 1 where a person is charged with or convicted of an offense in respect of a child being a an offense under the offenses against the person act namely <clears throat> section 40 of aggravated assault on women or children section 47 defilement of female imbecile section 48 carnal knowledge of girl under 12 section 50 carnal knowledge of girl above 12 and under 16 or section 53 indecent assault etc or of any offense involving conduct likely to result in the transmission of a communicable disease to a child the court may make an order requiring such person to submit to medical examination and testing for the purpose of ascertaining whether such person is the carrier of a communicable disease if the court is satisfied that such examination and testing is in the best interests of the child so they want to find out if the person has a disease like an STD and could have transmitted it Subsection 2. A person having knowledge or possession of information relating to any examination or test carried out under subsection 1 shall 
regard and deal with such information as secret and confidential and any such person who communicates or attempt to communicate such information to any person eh, other than to a person to whom he is authorized to communicate it or b otherwise than for the purposes of this act so it could be someone the doctor or someone working at the doctor's office who found out that the person the offender had a disease and go and communicate to other persons right they commit an offense that person commits an offense and shall be liable on summary conviction before a resident magistrate to a fine not exceeding one million dollars and in default of payment to imprisonment for a term not exceeding 12 months subsection 3 an order made under this oh section 3 here the yeah, subsection 3 an order made under this section may give directions in respect of such ancillary matters as are necessary for the proper carrying out of the order and for such communication of the results of any examination or tests as is necessary in the best interest of the child. Sub um, section 23 Disposal of case by order of court. Subsection 1 where a person having the custody charge or care of a child has been a convicted in respect of that child of any of the offenses mentioned in the second schedule or b committed for trial for any such offense or c bound over to keep the peace towards a child by any court that court may order that child to be brought before a children's court with a view to the said court making an order under section 14 and shall direct that the minister and the probation and aftercare officer be informed as soon as practicable of the order made so it could be a parent foster parent or somebody else in charge of the child is convicted or under trial for committing an offense against the child if that happens then the court, the children's court, a summon that the child be brought before that court and shall direct that the Minister of Justice and the probation officer and the aftercare officer be informed. Alright. Subsection 2. Where any court has, under this section, made an order directing that a child be brought before a children's court it shall be the duty of the following persons to bring the child before the children's court a the complainant if he is a constable in the proceedings against the person having the custody charge or care of the child b so the constable might bring the child to the children's court b if that complainant is not a constable the senior constable present in court at the time that the order was made or c a children's officer so those persons as it says here it is their duty to bring the child before the children's court 
Section 24, power of parent or guardian to bring child before court. Subsection 1. The parent or guardian of a child may bring the child before a juvenile court and where such parent or guardian proves to the court that he is unable to control the child, the court may make an order in respect of the child if satisfied. So these are, could be the orders. A, that or the, the court may make the order if it is satisfied that these conditions exist. A, the court is satisfied that it is expedient to do to, so to deal with the child and B, the court is satisfied that the parent or guardian understands the results which will follow from and consents to the making of the order. Section, subsection 2. An order under subsection 1 may A, be a correctional order or B, provide for the child 1 to be committed to the care of any fit person whether a relative or not which is willing to undertake the child the care of the child so the child the court might remove the child from the parent and put the child with somebody else and 2 to be placed for a specified period not exceeding 3 years under the supervision of a probation and the under aftercare officer, a children's officer, or some other person to be selected for the purpose by the minister. Part 2 General Provisions for Care and Protection of Children. We will look at this in another video.